12, 1, 23, December 1st, 9 a.m. I'm just kind of getting going here out of the camp. Um, as you can see, she's all shuttered up, ready to go. I left the window open today to get some air in there. And if anybody ever stumbles upon this, they can look inside to make sure nobody's in there. There's actually a camp close by that I looked at and when I found it I checked to make sure there wasn't like a dead body inside. It was an old camp, an old tent. So today I'm just going to go out, spend some time with some friends. A friend of mine is opening a thrift store, kind of furniture distribution place for a life bridge. I'm going to go check that out. LifeBridge has provided me with a lot of services out here, which has been good. Um, I want to discuss today more on the Free Karen Reed movement, which is expanding. And it's really important that everybody understands the importance of this case and what it means for all of our American rights, our constitutional rights to free expression and free speech. So what it seems is a few people and a couple law enforcement officials murdered John O'Keefe in a house and then tried to blame it on his girlfriend using their connections with other law enforcement officials. And now we have a district attorney the Norfolk District Attorney's involved, and they're all dug in because as soon as this thing blows up, they're all going to get in trouble for corruption. So, in the process of that, they've been charging people for expressing their rights to protest and their right to freedom of speech. If our freedom of speech and our freedom of expression gets suppressed, then we're gonna be looking at a very dismal future. I've known this since this case started. I knew it was gonna be pivotal. And what these people at 34 Fairview Road did to John O'Keefe is they left him out to die in the cold. Well, I'm staying homeless for various reasons, but one of the biggest messages I want to send is I'm staying out in the cold in solidarity for justice, truth, in all of our constitutional freedoms, and that they will not be suppressed by the government. Because if they are, then we've all lost. We live in a country where we can do and say as we please, and we can check the government when they get too powerful or out of control and begin to abuse that power. If we lose that right and freedom, then all is lost. So I just wanna let everyone know that I stand in solidarity with the Free Karen Reed movement. And I stand in solidarity for what's right and justice. And I also stand in solidarity for Sandra Birchmore, which is a less known case where it seems an officer went into a girl's house who he'd been having sexual relations with since she was a teenager. They groomed her, him and other officers. He went in there all masked up like, uh, like some type of convenience store robber and shortly after came out and was never ever considered a suspect in her murder. She uh, allegedly was hung by a doorknob. She hung herself. This is totally unrealistic, and that's what these corrupt, corrupt officials expect us to believe. This shit's got to stop, and I'm going to stand outside of society until we start to get some justice on these issues. I don't think people really understand that if this is allowed, what it's gonna to lead to in the future, and it could happen to any of us. 
any of us could become the victims of abuses of power when we are completely innocent and that is just not okay so I stand in solidarity I stand in the cold with John O'Keefe I stand in solidarity with Sandra Birchmore and I stand in solidarity with the injustice that is being done to Aidan Kearney for exercising his freedom of speech no person should ever be charged for saying and doing as they please in a free republic. That's my message for today.